Hi friends, our next live session for all of our course enrolled students would be about graph neural networks. And this is a live session or a series of live sessions that we will start conducting from this coming Sunday, which is the 26th of December at 7 p.m. Like all of our live sessions for our course enrolled students, this is a two to two and a half hour live session from 7 to 9, 9.30 p.m. Now, graph neural networks is a slightly recent concept in machine learning, especially in deep learning. And this comes under the broader umbrella of something called as geometric learning, where you're, you're basically performing deep learning on structures like graphs, geodesics, groups, etc. Again, within the broader area of geometric learning, graph learning or graph neural networks is, is the one that has most applications today. I'm sure this is a very interesting area which will see a lot of growth in the next five years with tons of applications. So uh, again, uh, if you think about it, if you look at the most important ideas in deep learning, after your standard techniques of multi-layered perceptrons, layer-wise pre-training, uh, ReLUs, etc., that we have seen early on, the other next architectures that are most popular was your CNNs, your convolution neural networks. Even though the early research was done in late 90s and early 2000s, they caught off, they caught off from around 2012. Then the concepts that were again designed in late 90s and early 2000s, which were LSTMs, were scaled towards a deep learning setup. More recently, in the last uh, two to three years, we saw transformers take off in a big way, especially in natural language processing. So at least at this point of time, we believe that the concept of geometric learning could be as big a concept or as big an important architectural structure, which could be as important as your CNNs, residual nets, LSTMs, transformers, etc. So we thought it's good for our students to learn this early on because it's not just about the cutting edge research. There are also applications of geometric learning that have been that have been deployed in the very recent past of just the last one year in some of the world's best product based companies. So we thought it's good. It's good for our students to know what's happening at the bleeding edge which is also being applied and deployed in real world systems. So we thought we'll start this series of live sessions on geometric learning or graph neural networks. Now, uh, as I was just saying a while ago, graph or geometric learning, especially amongst the broader area of geometric learning, especially graph neural networks have seen a bunch of applications at some of the companies. So there are real world problems that are being solved today. It's not just a theoretical work in some research paper. Just like transformers disrupted the whole natural language processing, at least if I have to make a guesswork, geometric learning could be as big as LSTMs or uh, or, or transformers or CNNs. In, that, that, that's what we see because graphs are a very generic data structure. Similarly, geodesics are a very, very generic structure. Similarly, groups are a very generic structure in mathematics. So if you can do deep learning on these structures, you can solve a ton of very, very interesting problems in very innovative ways. So this is also the whole area of geometric learning comes from ideas in core math because your structures, whether it's your data structure or uh, whether it's your structure like a graph or a geodesic or a group, they are fundamental mathematical structures that we see in a lot of places in the real world from biological sciences to uh, social networks, right? So cool. So the prerequisites for this uh, series of live sessions on graph neural networks would be that you understand deep learning. You should at least know MLPs and CNNs but if you also know transformers, your depth of understanding would be better. But you should at least know MLPs and CNNs. That's a mandatory requirement. If you know transformers, I think you can get a better understanding of graph neural networks in general. So it's, it's good to have, not a must have. But CNNs and MLPs are a must have. Cool. So we believe that to cover graph neural networks will take us about two to three live sessions. We may not be able to cover everything in one live session. So we'll break it. We'll go slow. We'll cover, we'll derive everything from first principles. We will build the theory carefully, but in addition to just the theory and research papers, we'll also focus also on applied applied details. And also, how do you implement a graph neural network using TensorFlow and Keras? So we'll do that. And I think one live session is impossible to cover everything rigorously and clearly. So we might take two to three live sessions. And these are live sessions that we would conduct for our course enrolled students on a weekly basis, every Sunday for the next uh, two to three weeks. Right? We'll, we'll again make these announcements on a regular basis so that you know when which session is there. Cool. The first session is on the coming Sunday, which is the 26th of uh, December, the coming uh, the day right after Christmas. And it's a 7 to 9 p.m. session. 
and this will be over air meet just like all of our recent live sessions for our course enrolled students looking forward to some great participation from all of our students and again this is a very interesting area that i personally have been very curious to teach because teaching is a great way for me to also learn this concept better while i've read all the research papers when you actually write the notes for it that's when you start asking more interesting questions so i'm looking forward looking forward to teach this and learn along with all of you while i teach it or at least improve my understanding better when i teach all of you so looking forward towards it so see you on the coming sunday bye bye